Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 3. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 7. In today's episode, we are taking a look at Sal's missions as well as doing the final mission for Tony. Uh, as mentioned previously, I had to do one of Sal's missions, so I've decided to lump sort of Tony and Sal slightly together. Uh, basically, Tony's final mission and all of Sal's um, all of Sal's missions apart from the first one, and then the last episode was all of to all all of Tony's missions apart from the last one and Sal's first one. Makes sense? Good. Uh, of course, you can go back and watch the episode. I'd imagine you're watching this in chronological order, though. I, I don't think you should use me. I mean, I have some relatively decent tips, uh, but I wouldn't particularly recommend using me to um, as a guide, per se. I'm pretty awful at every game I play in general, so... Uh, anyways, it's time to deal with Blowfish. Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads and liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer, so if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight Ball says it's real sensitive, and the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart, so you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget. I have no idea what a dust cart is. That's a weird way of referring to something. But, uh, nevertheless, we will go and see trusty old 8-ball once again, see what he's got in store for us. So, uh, we're gonna send that triad fish factory that we saw last time. Uh, we're gonna make it go boom boom, so that should be good and fun. Oh! It's a garbage truck. Why did they not refer to it as just a garbage truck? Anyways. So this thing is sensitive, apparently. So we will take extra careful by going this route to uh, where we need to be. Of course, we need to be up in Portland, so we will go this way. Well, sorry, up in uh, the dock, so we'll go this way. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, also, fun fact, yeah. There's just three random tramps that hang out at the back of this tunnel. So, uh, if you want some Molotovs, uh, that is one way to get them. Alright, let's try and work our way out of here without damaging the vehicle too much. Probably would have made more sense to follow the roads, but... Uh, nevertheless, I like doing things the complicated way. As we come around the super save. Dust cart is slightly damaged, but uh, never mind. Listen to that diesel roar. I got no idea what engine would be in. I don't. I don't. I, I don't really know trucks all out. I think most of them are just giant inline six engines. If I remember rightly, I'm not 100 percent sure on that though. If you're watching a GTA 3 LP, I doubt you really care about what engines in everything. But then again, maybe you're as sad as I am. I don't know. Anyways, let us. Pull into the Triad Fish Factory. Turtle head fishing. Nice. Well, at least it isn't donkey porn, to be fair. Right. We gotta run like hell. So, arms bon and run for the hills. Do you know what? Actually, fuck it. I'm not fighting any. There we go. <laughs> As I say, I'm not fighting any of you. I also like how those guys don't seem to care. Their factory has gone up in flames. Alright. There we go. 30 grand. And that's Tony's missions done with. That one's actually up. Tony's missions are a lot easier than I remember them being. But uh, yeah, there you go. The fish factory is now destroyed. And of course it will remain destroyed for the rest of the game. So... Now what we're going to do is something a little bit interesting. I need some health and armor, so we're going to acquire that in a pretty easy way. This is one way to acquire armor when you're here in Portland. Simply mount the wall at the coach station, which is just over there, and then you go up this little dirt mound on top of this building. Go around there, and up here, and you will see armor and an Uzi. So there you go. If you want to 
acquire yourself some armor. You do have to get damaged slightly uh, to fall down there. I believe you could probably have a different way out if you wanted to, but uh, no, I find it easier to just make the jump. So uh, there you go. Easy way to get some armor while you're here in Portland. I believe there's other methods. There's actually um, a warehouse sort of around there where if you get on the roof of that, it will give you an AK full health and... An AK full health, full armor, and there's even a hidden package up there. I believe there's a hidden package on the sawmill as well. Uh, but getting the AK one involves essentially jumping off of the train line, uh, which, well, that it's a lot harder to pull off. So in general, I always go for that one. So we picked up the adrenaline pill, which I didn't particularly want to do. Slows down time. Not massively useful, in my opinion. But uh, if you just get into a car, that'll shake it off. So there we go. Right, time to actually finally do what this part's all about, which is Sal's missions. So let's get ourselves over to Don Salvatore. As the Trismo phone is ringing. I'll refer to it as the Trismo phone now, considering... Oh god, she fucking flew! I don't think I hit her that hard, but uh, never mind. That was also fantastic. Exquisite, even. <laughs> there we go. Right. Pull in to the good old mansion. And let's go up here. Also, you can see the nice little lighthouse in the background. How cute. Cutting the grass. Oh boy, are we doing more remedial missions? Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob, works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. We got ourselves a rat, as usual, in these Mafia-style games. So, interestingly, I'm going to show you a way to do this mission. So, the way you're supposed to do this mission is you follow Curly Bob um, in the taxi. You essentially... Uh, actually, I'm going to... Nope, never mind. I was about to say I'll grab that taxi because it's cleaner, but it doesn't really matter. If I find a cleaner taxi, I'll use that one instead. But anyways, the way you're supposed to do this mission is you're supposed to follow Curly Bob, uh, keep your distance, don't spook him, you know, the usual GTA uh, escort mission, which I despise. However, there is a different way to do this mission, which involves essentially coming up here. So if you park the car here, or somewhere around here, I don't actually know how you're getting spawn. Ah, there we go. So if you park here, he shouldn't actually get into your taxi. If he doesn't, then we'll just do this the classic way. But, yep, there you go. So instead of you having to follow a taxi, you can simply take him to the destination. Which I find a lot easier because I hate these follow missions in GTA games, they're the worst things in the world. Absolutely fucking despise them. So, being able to do it this method is a lot easier, it's a lot quicker, you can just take him to Portland Harbor. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Pull into here. And there's the blue marker. Try not to end up in the river. There we go. Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, amigo. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, squealer. 
Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore is becoming dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? What an arse. So there you go, he's been speaking to our good old friend Catalina. Now if I remember rightly, this guy has a shotgun. Yes, so we want to take him out quickly. I've told you before, do not mess with the shotguns in this game. Um, they, they will, I believe they destroy a car in two hits. So uh, if you see a guy with a shotgun, do not go near him. And it will also knock you back if you inquire, uh, there get involved in a gunfight with one, so uh, yeah, definitely stay out of the way of shotguns, one of the absolute most deadliest weapons in the game. It's that, and it's the, uh, well, you'll see it later, let's put it that way. There is a certain other weapon in this game which is ridiculous, to say the least, so uh, let's go see what the Don wants once again. It's gonna be Bombed Base Act 1. The cartel has got bottomless funds from pushing that spank crap. If we make an open attack on them, they'll wipe the floor with us. They must be making spank on that big boat that Curly led you to. So we gotta use our heads, or rather one head, your head. I'm asking you to destroy that spank factory as a personal favor to me, Salvatore Leone. If you do this for me, you will be a made man. Anything you want. Go and see Eight Ball. You'll need his expertise to blow up that boat. So we've got to go ahead and blow ourselves up a boat. So that leads us kind of to not a Sal mission. It's more of an 8-ball mission, but I'm going to lump it in with the Sal missions because it's a personal favor to me. Salvatore Leone. Let's go ahead. Oh, come on, land on... Ah. Disappointment taxi. You almost did it. Anyways, apparently our crew mode is here from like ages ago, so that's good. Right, eight ball. Let's see what you want, sir. Bomb the base act two. Yo, my man. Salvatore phoned ahead, but a job like this is gonna need a lot of fireworks. I'll need a hundred thousand dollars to cover expenses. But you know with me you get a lot of bang for your buck. Come back, brother, when you have the money. A hundred thousand dollars. I don't think that's an issue. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this then. I can set this baby to detonate, but I still can't use a piece with these hands. Here, this rifle shall help you pop some heads. Okay, so welcome to one of my least favorite missions in this game. Because it involves the sniper rifle, which I'm not very good with, and covering someone, which I'm not very good with, and also the fact that he doesn't have very much health, which I don't find much sympathy with. So, uh, yeah, this one may take a couple of tries, but uh, nevertheless, we will get through it. Apparently, the uh, we may have actually killed the uh, little bums that sit down here and worship a hidden package all day. First, I steal their package, and now I steal their lives. What a sad sack of shite I am, but uh, never mind. Portland! Oh, sugar. <laughs> Car almost went over. There we go. Get a good vantage point, then I'll head in when you fire the first shot. Okay, so he's gonna head in when we fire the first shot. So basically, we need strategy to try and get us through this one. There's a lot of men there. Okay, right. So, I have a different method of doing this now. Or rather, a better method. So, what we're going to do... By the way, this is take two because I fucked up. We are going to steal this adrenaline pill. For the first time ever, uh, an adrenaline pill might actually be useful. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the adrenaline pill and we're going to go 
up here and hopefully it's gonna last long enough to give us a decent amount of aiming capabilities it should make things a little bit easier slows the game down and uh, makes aiming a hell of a lot easier because doing this mission normally yeah it is an absolute pain in the neck right let's do this first off obviously we want to take out these guys down here also means that the bolt action on the sniper is uh, slower which is not good alright take him out take him out take him out god I wish the control was less sensitive okay he's done for he's done for Okay, he's shot in the penis. I think 8 bolts coming up now. He's getting ready to fire. He's still not ready for some reason. Oh, there you go. Come on. This guy's invincible, apparently. There we go, that takes him out. That takes his penis out. Get this running motherfucker. I like how they can run. Oh, no, never mind. There's another one there. There we go. I think that's all of them. Just survey the damage. They've all got AKs, so they deal massive damage to 8 ball. Just keep an eye on him in case he gets shot at. Look at him go! Come on, 8-Ball. Hurry up. There's not another one, is there? I have a feeling there might be, but I don't think there is. Unless there's one around that corner, which I don't think there is. Okay, cool. I think that's it. I think the game is back to normal speed now as well. Ah, there we go. Excellent. So, there we go. There's another thing destroyed. $150,000 for taking out the boat. And, uh, yeah, this has been a very destructive episode, actually. We've uh, destroyed um, the Spank Factory. We've also destroyed the uh, the Triad Fish Factory. So, uh, yeah, definitely I think our cost to state has uh, gone up. But, yeah, you get 150000 from that mission. So, if you was a bit like, oh, I don't want to spend hundred grand," well, there you go. And also... Uh, don't worry, if you fail the mission, you get your 100k back. It's paid for, essentially, the mission's already been paid for, so... You don't have to pay 100k every time you fail it, so... Be thankful for that. Anyways, we've done the personal favourite to Sal. Sal said he would make us. So, uh, I guess, let's go ahead get made. As we drive up to his mansion, once again... And tackle that mission corona. Last requests. It's my favorite cleaner. I'm proud of you, my boy. You kicked the shit out of those grease balls. I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. There's a car around the block from Luigi's Club. The inside is covered in brains. We had to help some guy make up his mind and it proved a little uh, messy. Take it to the crusher before the cops find it. Hmm, considering the uh, turbulence of the last mission, that seems like a awfully easy request, but uh, nevertheless it's Salvatore telling us, so 
I guess we've got to go do it. I'm expecting a try and ambush or something. I love the sound of the cartel cruiser. It's an excellent noise. Ooh. Destroying vans, destroying people. Doing very well. Cartel cruiser, sounds nice. Doesn't drive very well. So we're almost at our destination. What's this? The car's a trap. Oh shit. <laughs> Like in like reading and getting. So uh, yeah, the car's a trap. So, fun fact: um, as soon as you get into that car, uh, it will detonate. Essentially. So yeah, uh, you can actually, if you have a decent amount of health, you can get into it, blow it up, and get out. Uh, but there's really no point. Uh, it is a cheater, which is cool. I guess you could push it to the garage if you wanted a cheater, but uh, if you don't, I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, move to this new mission marker over here at the Callahan Bridge. So, uh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> that almost didn't go well. So yeah, Sal's tried to bump us off. Hmm. Listen, Salvatore thinks that we're going behind his back, so he was offering you to the cartel in order to make a deal. I couldn't let him do that. I mean, the worst thing is, it's all my fault because I told him we were an item. I mean, don't ask me why. I don't know. Look, you're a marked man on the Mafia turf, and I've got to get out of here, too. I've seen too much killing, too much blood. I... Look, this is a friend of mine, okay? She's an old friend. It's, it's just so good. She's someone we could trust. Come on, enough of the speeches. We better get out of here before we get more hysterical Italians wanting less friendly reunions. Hmm. Get on the reefer, and uh, we folks are going to a new place. I think you can see it on the horizon there. Uh, we are gonna go to uh, good old Staunton Island, one of the main islands in the game, other than Portland, of course. So, uh, for now, we leave Portland behind. Can't say I'm particularly gonna miss it because I hate the way Portland's laid out. Um, but maybe here things will be different. I don't know though. We'll find out. Anyways, drive into the Corona. Hmm. And uh, welcome to Stoughton Island. Asuka and I are going to have to talk. Uh, why don't you go cruise around? You'll need a place to lie low. There's a warehouse at the edge of Belleville that should suit your needs. Come back here to my condo when you're ready, and you and me can have a little chat. Hmm. So there you go. Mission's passed. We are now here on the second island of the game, Stoughton. Uh, we can do missions for Asuka, and also you might notice the Callahan Bridge is fixed, so we can... Uh, Go ahead and drive over it. We'll steal ourselves this tasty uh, Yakuza stinger and I'll uh, go have a quick look at the new bridge. And uh, yeah, so for now we get the ammunition and paint spray. Get to find out where those are. They don't stay there forever, those are keep that crap memorized. But most stuff here on Shoreside takes place around the Newport area. So yeah, here you go. The Callahan Bridge. It's lovely, it's open, and uh, if you had trouble getting some of the unique stun jumps around the Callahan Bridge, you can now go ahead and uh, sort them out. So these loading screens do pop up when you travel between islands. It is a feature of GTA 3 and Vice City, just sort of a uh, loading limitations uh, style thing, so the game can essentially get each of the islands ready for the go. But uh, yeah, Staunton Island. Here we are, and again, as I said, it's nice to get out of Portland. I hate Portland. I actually quite like Stoughton, though. It's a it's a nice little place in the game. It's a lot bigger of a place. It's a lot less confusing in its architecture. A couple of annoying things, but uh, overall, it is a pretty nice place to be. I will be certainly spending uh, a fair chunk of time here. So, um, also, the hideout. Our stuff is still here, so our weapons are here, health's here, you know, the stuff that we got from the side missions. 
anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Next time, um, for you lot, we are going to be doing the... Let me just check what I did. Taxi driver missions. So, um, while we are here on Staunton in terms of the story missions... Thanks. Yeah. Emergency vehicles. Okay. Um, that's another import-export thing, we'll get to that. So, uh, yeah, while we've been exiled here to Staunton Island, I assure you, before we were, Portland had plenty of opportunities for us, and you'll see some of those opportunities. Uh, next time, I'm going to be taking a look at Taxi Driver, and for the next fair few episodes, it's going to be various odd jobs done in Portland uh, before we were exiled. Join us in uh, about... I think it's episode... So this is episode 7. Episode 16 is where we're going to be picking up on Staunton Island as we take a look at Asuka's missions. Although, of course, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead, explore Staunton, and do everything that needs to be done here on this island. So by the time we come back um, to this particular save, you'll see once again we have more money, more weapons, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing this way, the way this Let's Play is laid out, but uh, it makes sense, kind of. Anyways, yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell. She goes back to her